How are you doing? Um, you know, as a teacher, a presenter, before you come to a presentation, the first thing you do is to write down a set of objectives you want to achieve at the end of everything you want to do. And in France Stars here, we do more than that with a little artfulness to make it more interesting and creative. My name is Theo Mobashedra, my friends call me Shady, and today I'm still a ballet teacher and we're talking about still on nutrition. Nutrition, as we discussed earlier in the past episodes, has been about feeding in living organisms. So we call it nutrition, we call it what? Feeding. And if I told you earlier, it is one of the major characteristics of living things. Now, in nutrition, we discuss types of nutrition, we discuss plant nutrition, animal nutrition, in here we discuss the food, and I told you we have six classes of food. Is that clear? Now, today, we'll be talking about digestion. Digestion. Now, what is digestion? Digestion is the breaking down of food into smaller chemical forms, chemical usable forms, before they are absorbed into the body system for their functions. You know, usually in school, is the in school usually in the olden days I was growing up. School has always been about you pick a textbook or a chain of classroom teaching. But today you can just Google the word and voila, you have it on your phone for you to understand. Now, digestion is simply the breaking down of food into chemically smaller forms before they absorb into the bloodstream for their functions. Now, I told you it is a process of breaking down of food into chemically usable forms. In biology, there are some terms you use and some terms you don't use. Your examiner will always be looking for those terms to give you your full mark. When you miss them, you miss the score. Now, it's the, user, it's the breaking of food to usable forms before they absorb the bloodstream for their functions. Now, digestion is a catabolic process. It is a catabolic process that involves breaking down. Remember in our previous classes, we talked about catabolic and anabolic. And I told you these two processes make up what we call metabolic. So, anabolic catabolic it is the breaking down of substances and digestion involves breaking down. So digestion is a catabolic process. Now digestion occurs in two ways. It occurs in two processes. One is called the mechanical process and the other is called the chemical process. We have the mechanical process, the mechanical process and two we have the chemical process. Now, the mechanical process is carried out by the teeth, which in singular you know the tooth, right? The tooth. We have the gizzard. Now, this gizzard is found in beds and insects. It is found in beds and in insects. It's found in beds and in insects because bears, bears do not have teeth. When you see a bear, bear does not have teeth. So, because it does not have tooth, it needs to break down this grains into the body the, the system. Therefore, it uses the gizzard to break down the substances. The gizzard is found in beds and in cockroaches and some insects. The third one is the muscular action of the stomach. The muscular action of the stomach hitting against each other. So these three, these three constituents make up the mechanical process of digestion. Why in chemical process we take up the words the enzymes, the enzymes. So we take this this concept one after one after the other, and from there we progress. The tooth is the pure form, is the teeth. The tooth is the hardest organ in the body of a living organism. It is the hardest organ in the body of a living organism. It is found in all vertebrates. When we talk of vertebrates, what do we talk of? The vertebrates. It is found in all vertebrates. In all vertebrates, we talk of the pieces, which are fishes, amphibians, which is our, your frogs, your toes, your salamanders. We talk of the reptiles or reptilia, which are your snakes, your tortoises. We talk of the herbs or you call them what? Your birds, your herbs or your birds, and then we talk of the mammals. So the tooth, the teeth in plural, is found in all these vertebrates except birds. Except birds. That's why all these ones, they have the teeth but do not have gizzard. But birds have gizzard and not have the teeth. Exactly. So, tooth is the hardest organ in the body of a living organism, made up of majorly, majorly calcium compounds. It's very strong, stronger than bone itself, and also it's found in all vertebrates itself, the birds. Now, let's go to the next card, the structure of the tooth. The structure, what does the tooth look like? What does it look like? You know, in biology, we talk of sections, we talk about sections in biology. We talk of the longitudinal section, 
on top of the transverse section. The transverse section. Now we have an orange fruit. Don't mind my drawing, but you need to learn how to draw very well in biology. You have what we call the longitudinal section. You cut through here. This gives you the longitudinal section. When you why when you cut through here, it gives you what the transverse section. Remember, longitudinal transverse section. So we're going to have a stretch of the tooth on the board, and with that diagram, we can explain fully the parts of the tooth. Now remember, the tooth has three major layers, three major regions. It has three major regions. It has three major regions. We have the neck. We have the neck the crown and the roots. We have the neck, the crown and the roots. Sorry, I'm a terrible drop. I'm a terrible artist, but we just have to do it like that. Here, okay, here, this is structure, a longitudinal section of a molar, of a molar. Here, here is called the enamel, the enamel. Here is called the dentine. Remember in biology, you just don't level anyhow, you level one side only. With pencil and not barrel, don't use barrel to level. In biology, everything you're drawing must have, must be in pencil. Whether you're leveling or you're drawing, must be in pencil and you don't sketch in mixed straight lines. So here, we have, here is called the gum. Here is called the pop canal. Pop cavity, sorry, the pop cavity here is called a pop canal. The pop canal. Then we'll have a structure like this here. And we also have it here. Here is called the cement. It's called the word the cement. And then we'll have another structure covering it. Here is called the periodontal membrane. The periodontal membrane. The periodontal membrane. Now we look at this. I think the teeth has three regions. It has three regions. We have here is called the crown. That one visible. This one you can see is called your crown. Here it's called here now it's called your neck. It's just a small region. And then here is called your root. Remember, every tooth, whether it is an this is all one bit type of teeth, it has three regions. The crown, the neck, and the word the roots. Now let's have the enamel. This is the uppermost part of the this is the uppermost part of the tooth. Is this one you can visibly see is called your word enamel? It's whitish in nature, made of majorly calcium compounds. I made of majorly what calcium compounds, which is your calcium phosphate and your calcium carbonate. Your calcium phosphate and your calcium carbonate. Now this enamel. It, under it, you have what we call the dentine. This yellowish in nature, it is yellowish in nature. It is yellowish in nature. It is yellowish in nature. And also, this dentine is yellowish in nature. And also, looks like the enamel. But the problem with the dentine is that it is very sensitive. It is very sensitive and also alive. So, this one is like the opposite of enamel. It is very sensitive and also very well to live in. Now, under this dentine, you probably call the pop cavity. The pop cavity. Now, the pop cavity, what does it do? It contains the neurons and the blood cells. Uh, sorry, blood vessels. It contains the neurons and the, what, the blood vessels. Now, what does this one do? The neurons carry impulses from the tooth to every part of the body, while the blood vessels carry nutrients into and out of the teeth. Remember, sometimes when you have toothache, Sometimes you eat something, you force it down, you feel, the, you feel the shiver all over your body because this here will have what we call the neurons that carry impulses to and through your body. So that's the pop cavity. It contains the neurons and the blood vessels that carry nutrients as well as impulses to and through the teeth. Next, we have the cement. You know your cement. You all know what cement is. Just like you're building your house, it helps to hold the teeth very strong in the jaw. Helps the first strong in nature. And the periodontal, the periodontal membrane also helps the cement to hold the teeth in the so the cement and this periodontal membrane perform the same function for the teeth. Now the last one of the list we have the pop canal. 
this is the opening or the hole through, or in the root through which these neurons and blood vessels carry nutrients and information to and through the teeth. Now, when we start the lesson, we start with nutrition. We start with nutrition, find nutrition. We, we went into nutrition process. We discussed the, the digestion, which we discussed on the meaning and the, the process involved in it. From there, went into the, the teeth. Now, the tooth, as you see on the board here, is a very is a very important organ, but without it, human beings cannot survive. So, this is all we have today on biology. When I see you next time, we'll continue from where we stop. Thank you. You can also like, share, and also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, <laughs>